Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to see you all here. We're finally doing this concert after a few cancellations. It's lovely to see you. I'd like to first um, acknowledge that we're here on stolen lands or on the land of Wurundjeri people belonging to the Kulin Nation. I'd like to pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging and make a commitment to be a good and useful ally in the continuous fight for treaty and treaties. Thank you so much for being here. This is a show called From the Bottom of the Well, which is the name of the album that I put out last year. A few years ago, my dad went into hospital to have a quadruple bypass and my mum, my sister and I had never gone through something like that, so we were finding it quite difficult. And we all dealt with it in different ways. My mum went into a quiet state of shock. My sister couldn't go into the ICU to visit dad without fainting and then requiring a bed for herself. And I decided to go onto Gumtree and buy dozens of maths methods textbooks because I was going to study radiology and then I would become a sonographer and I would go into medicine and I would invent the first ever all-in-one screen test so that no one would have to get disease or illness ever again. And I was going to give up music there and then. But while Dad was in his surgery, I wrote this next song to give to my mum and my sister to help us get through. It's called Who Would Have Thought. Thank you. 
up. Um, so a few years ago I was at a climate change protest and I arrived and I got all teary thinking about look at how many thousands of people are out here protesting for a good cause and then I noticed that a lot of people had coffee cups <laughs> and I thought oh well on the one hand they're out here protesting to have action on climate change but on the other hand they're contributing to landfill by not having recyclable cups. But on the other hand, they're supporting local businesses and instilling Melbourne as the coffee capital of the world. But on the other hand, were they just so lazy that they couldn't bring their own keeper cups to the climate change protest? Around the same time, my husband and I were buying our first legit piece of furniture, a three-seater couch from freedom and <laughs> this next song was written while I was sitting on that three-seater couch and this song is my first ever protest song it's called grey Oh, 
if I was born here but on stolen land Am I an activist if I get home at night and put cats on social media Oh, am I in the wrong or in the right? Am I part of conversations or just fights? Would I agree with that idiot? Nothing set in stone. Yes, it's all. Let's give it up for Chris on Lights and Soup on Sound. Thank you. It's delightful to be in a real life venue. So, I know it feels like decades ago, but only a couple of weeks ago, I got to travel interstate. <laughs> And I played a few shows. I played a season of Come From Away up in Brisbane. And then I played some shows with Eddie Perfect at Adelaide Cabaret Festival. And 
one thing that really stood out was that in any of my interactions with any of these interstatians is that they just didn't get what we went through here in Melbourne. And they tried. They really did. They tried to empathise, but they just have no idea. And when I was writing this song, it kind of reminded me of it because I learnt that geese fly in a V formation when they're migrating long distances for two reasons. The first reason is to conserve energy. So one, one bird flies directly above the other and it creates a wind resistance, which means that they can share around the workload and don't have to work as hard. And the second reason is so that they can communicate more effectively. They can see each other, keep an eye on one another, and make sure everyone's going okay. So I thought that that was very timely. This song is called Sun and Rain. Thank you. 
so much. So much. So Ooh. much. Ooh. I really was thanking you. So last year, a few of you might know, hands up who tuned into a Twitch. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so after the aftermath of being in complete shock at losing all my work for all of eternity and also after having a little rest in there too, I needed to make money. Um, so I decided that instead of giving up music then, I would keep staying with music and I would live stream twice a week on Twitch. And I had so many lovely people watching and also donating money to help get me through. So um, I was very grateful for that. But one day I was in my fluoro green onesie, as you are, and I was improvising some electronic dance music, some happy trance, bopping about, and on jumped this man from Portland who had come in a few times, but he was telling us the story of how he'd just gotten home after his 40th consecutive day protesting on the streets of Portland as part of the Black Lives Matter movement. And that he'd just gotten home and he was exhausted and upset. He'd witnessed so much violence and he'd just been gassed by police. And there I was <laughs> in my fluoro green onesie. And he needed some comfort. He needed some escapism and he needed some relief. And someone bopping around in a bright green onesie. It doesn't get more essential than that, does it? So I'm going to do a bit of a dance set now. Still not allowed to dance. No dance floors until tomorrow. So um, we'll just have to imagine it. <laughs> Looking up at the moon Oh, she's got to get 
seven when we swim against and the way the rivers flow in day to day and if you're a lion you're a bear as well and if you go deeper you will find a gazelle
Thank you. If only I had one more hand. <laughs> so, um, just a really quick survey. Hands up if you're having a good time. Great, cool. Um, did anyone not put their hand up? Checking. I have one more song left. <laughs> I know, it went really quickly. Um, before I go into this next little bit, I do have some of the albums of From the Bottom of the Well for sale and I'll be out there if you'd like one. And I do have a mailing list if you'd like to sign up. There's lots of different things coming up. Um, well, I've planned to do lots of things. We'll see what the universe has in store, but... My plans are that I'm going to be doing lots of interesting things in the next little while. So if you'd like to keep up to date, please sign up there. Please give it up again for Soup on Sound. <laughs> and to Chris on Lights. And I would like to say a very big thank you to the Melbourne Recital Centre who have done everything to make um, this show happen. It nearly didn't happen. So please give it up for MRC. So the, the reason for writing the album From the Bottom of the Well was that in 2019 I had my darkest year ever. 2020 was not even something that was going to happen, but 2019 was the darkest year. It was the year that my family fell apart and it was the catalyst for writing this album. And I hit rock bottom and I liked to think of it that I was down the very bottom of the well. And... 
throughout time, stories have been written with wells featuring in them. They're meant to be places of spiritual refreshment. Um, they contain mermaid monsters that eat children. Um, they're also the place where people toss their coins and make a wish. So when I was down the bottom of my well, surrounded by all the wishes and demands that everyone had put on me, I actually realised that I had more clarity than I'd ever had up above. And it's when you're down the bottom of the well, when you have nothing left to lose, that you start to be able to pull apart that thing that needs fixing. And when you pull something apart, you find out how it works. And when you know how something works, you can put it back together but you can build in protective shields and you can build in um, different ways of seeing things, seeing the world. And you can cleanse it, refuel and rise again. And so actually I quite like visiting the bottom of the well every now and again so that I can get more clarity on what it is that I want to do with this precious life. And so I'm going to finish my set with this song because this is one of my favourite songs that I've ever written and I wrote it when I was right down the bottom of the well. So thank you so much for listening. I'm Zanny. I'll see you next time. Love is fighting, all love 
is compromising love's heart the end at last the world you painted it's not real So go back to the table or go back where we were sitting. Go back, oh, conversations. I'll find out what I was missing. Cause it all failed right, like the future was bright. But it's all. Now I've got nothing to say.
Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you again. See you next time. Bye.